Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everyone that continuously supports my channel, whether new or existing. Today's video is my updated bedroom tour. I'm going to take you through a couple of items that have changed since you guys last seen my bedroom. I'll put my previous bedroom tour in the description box. The pillows in the back, I have three of them. They are the Euro pillows from Quilt Etc. The pillowcases and pillows comes separate. Now, this satin pillowcase, I absolutely love it. I got this from Walmart, and I think I only paid like $16 for it. This is part of my bedding from Also Quilts, etc. I'll be sure to link everything in there. And then these pillows are my winter pillows. The bedding is so beautiful. I love this veining or branching that goes through it. And of course, just for a little extra coziness, I have a fuzzy blanket on the bottom of the bed. This is just a quick updated tour of some of the new items that I got in my room. Any of the older ones, check out my description box for the link to video to my previous bedroom tour. Now this is the area that I had the mirrored end tables. I have since retired the end tables and got these chest of drawers. The one side of my room, I don't remember if I showed you guys or if you're aware of this, but you can literally see right through into my solarium, which is my home office. So I did change the curtains to something that's just a lot lighter and smoother. And you guys will be seeing a tour of my home office soon. But as of now, these are the updates that I've done. I've changed my bedding. And again, I will list the bedding and all its counterparts in the description box. I always tend to go with an all white room and I don't see that changing anytime soon. On top of the bed here, that's where I had the mirrors that I put into the dining room. And I'm still looking for something to replace those mirrors with. On my chest of drawers, I have my Dior lipsticks and lip balms and glosses in this little Dior bag. And then this little lady here, I fell in love with her. I got her from HomeSense, and I'm not really big on these sort of things, but she was really cute. It was $19.99, and I got two of them. And then beside it, I just keep my camera. Um, that's going to go into the office once that's done. And then also my uh, little Virgo cup I got, $16.99 is what I paid for it from HomeSense. And this Boss Lady book, I actually received that from the, or I purchased that, sorry, from Dollarama. I think it was like $4. And um, I absolutely love it. It comes in so handy with keeping me organized. My chest of drawers I got from Ikea. Again, I'll make sure I link it in the description box. And guys, I love this chest of drawers. In the top drawer, I have underwear, socks, and swimwear. And the drawers are really deep, and they hold quite a bit of stuff. I love these the um, size of these drawers. Second, I have my home clothes and exercise wear. And then I have my track pants. And then in the very bottom of it, these items will eventually be moved into the office, but it's like all my recording stuff and my little tripod and lights and things like that. And it fits really beautifully in here. And on the other side, it's the exact same thing. These are the floating shelves I got from Yisk. I love them. I think they are great. One word of advice for people that want to get floating shelves Make sure that they're secured to the wall really, really well because after a while, mine actually started to droop and then I had to get different screws to screw them in and now they're perfectly fine. But just keep that in mind if you were to get floating shelves. I actually did a lot of purging of shoes and purses in order to get everything to fit on that one wall. Here's an overview of my bed. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the corner on this side, this is where I keep all of my perfumes I did start a luxury perfume collection, so I'll be sure and link that also in the description box. I've had this blanket for well over two, three years now. I forgot to mention where I got it from when I showed you in the beginning of the video. So this was purchased from HomeSense. And then I wanted to show you guys a better view of what that side wall in my room looks like. It's not even a wall. It's literally a giant window. It's like a, a sliding door that gets me into the solarium because I don't have a balcony. But by giving up the balcony, I was actually able to get a nice little space that I can have an office in. These sheer curtains I got from Ikea and they were next to nothing. I, I couldn't believe it. I bought 12 pieces, but it ended up I had 24 because they were two panels in each package. So I thought because they were so cheap, 
that <laughs> they were sold separately, but I guess I just didn't read it. It worked out good for me because I'm able to use the curtains in my room and also use some of them in the office. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick updated tour of my room. I still have some more updates to do and once that's done, I'll be sure to give you guys a full detailed tour of the bedroom, including my solarium, which will be converted into my home office. See you in the next video.